Hi and hello to all our math buddies out there, to all our number smarts, and to all our math talino kids who are with us for this video. So welcome to our new lesson for Mathematics Grade 5. So another week, another lesson. So for quarter 2, lesson 3 or for week 3. So we're going to discuss decimal numbers with decimal parts up to 10 thousands. Alright, so we have here our learning competencies and learning objectives. So number one is to determine the place value of 10 thousands of a digit in a given decimal number. And letter B, the value of a digit and the digit of a number given to its place value. And for number two, read and write decimal numbers okay, with decimal, decimal parts to 10 thousands. Okay, so let's have our short review so let this blocks a set of blocks will be equal to 10 and the second one okay is one is equal to one or one unit okay or the next the third figure is equal to one tenth and one cube is one hundred so what decimal number is represented by the set of blocks so how many tens are there how many ones and how many tenths and hundred so another thing is represent 27.3 or 0.30 pesos using bills and coins. So you can have your 20 peso bill, a 1 20 peso bill, 1 5 uh, peso coin, 2 1 peso coin, and 3 10 centavo coins. Okay, so that will represent 27.30 pesos using bills and coins. Now this time, write the following decimals in the place value chart below. So for A... 5.2. So, sa natin ilalagay yung 5 and then yung 2. So, yung aking um, point, no? Uh, it's very easy. So, ganito naman kasi yan. When it comes to place value chart, itatapat mo lang syempre. Unang-una mong gagawin, itapat yung uh, ating decimal point, no? Kung 5.2, so, i-place na kaagad yung point. So, 5 will go to 1s. So, 5 1s and 2 tenths. Okay? For letter B, it's 0 0.06. So, itapat agad si decimal point. So, 0 tenths and 6 hundredths. Then, for letter C, 43.48. So, 4 tenths, 3 ones, 4 tenths and 8 hundredths. Okay, so that would be the answer. So, now, okay, what do you think is the place value next to hundredths? Okay, so of course, that would be thousands. Now, what do you think is the place value next to thousands? So, that would be 10,000. So, okay, as we can see, yung meron tayong order dito from millions to hundred thousands. Oh, they forgot the billions. Okay. No, yung billions. So, when we try to write, no, yung uh, nakulimbat nila, no, yung nakuha nilang pera from the government, hindi lang millions ang pinag-uusapan, hindi lang 10 millions, hindi lang 100 millions. It's billions, right? Billions ang pinag-uusapan people of the Philippines. So, we need to wake up. Alright? So, in this place value, we need to wake up. Billions na. Oh, wala na siya sa place value natin. Ganun na katindi. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to our lesson. So, millions, hundred thousands. Nakakagigil lang kasi. Anyway, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. And then, we have the decimal point. The next to the decimal point is the tenths hundreds and so on and so forth so what do you think is the place value next to thousands it's ten thousands and then hundreds okay i'm sorry it's ten thousands and then hundred thousands okay and then millions and ten millions hundred millions and billions again all right okay so how would you write the following decimals in the place value chart so katulad ng sinabi ko kanina always look where is the decimal point Tapos doon natin ilalagay. Alright? So, 0 0.016. So, itapat na kagad. 0 ones yan. Okay? Kasi 0. Then, point zero tenths. Okay? One hundredths. And then, six thousandths. Okay? With the T. No? T sound at the end. Okay? For example, 2, we have 40.9521. Okay? So, 40. So, we have four tenths. Okay? Zero ones. And then, the decimal point, nine tenths. 500, okay, 2,000, and 1, or 10,000, okay, 1, 10,000. So, the constant, okay, 
pi, okay, that's the symbol of pi, has an appropriate value of 3.1416. This number is read as read as 3 and 1,416 ten thousands. Ganun ang pagbasa natin. Okay, so to, to correct, no, or yung basa natin for number 2, it's uh, 40 and 9,000. 9,521 ten thousands. Okay, so that's the right um, way of pronouncing the, f the second uh, example. For, uh, the, yung 40.9521. But if you're going to read it uh, uh, correctly according to the place value, so again, that would be 40, okay, 40 and 9,000 521 ten thousands. Okay, so now let's unlock our content vocabulary. Decimal. Okay, again, the constant pi has an approximate value. Hindi nagbabago. It's always been 3.1416. Okay, since time immemorial. And then decimal comes from the Latin word decimus, which means tenth. Place value is the position of a digit in a number. Value refers to what a digit is worth in a given number. And the value of a digit is based on its place value. So, nakita natin kanina yung placement ng value. So, kung ano yung natapat doon, no, always look for the decimal point. I-align na kaagad lagi. Laging itatapat no, yung ating decimal point para makita natin na tama din at maayos yung ating uh, place value and at the same time, malaman natin correctly yung value ng digit. Okay. So, next we have this one. Our subtopic, place value and value of a digit in a decimal number up to 10 thousands. So, each digit in a number corresponds to a place value and has a value determined by its place. The place value next to hundreds is thousands and the place value next to it is 10 thousands. So, for example, write 0 0.693 in the place value chart and determine the place value and value of each digit okay so if we're going to put that and write that in the chart okay so for example one we have the chart tens ones okay and then the decimal point so lagi natin sinasabi ilagay na kaagad si decimal point i-align na kaagad para makita natin at mailagay natin ng tama ang digits or number sa ating dito dito sa ating table para makuha natin ng wasto yung kanilang value and at the same time place value. Okay, so ayan na, nilatag na natin. So, zero ones and then we have the decimal point. Okay, six tenths, nine hundredths, and three thousands. So, place value and value of each digit in 0 0.693. Okay, six tenths. Okay, that's the value, 0 0.6. Nine hundredths, 0 0.09. And three thousands, 0 0.003. Okay, so for example, to write 4.1707 in the place value chart and determine the place value and value of each digit. So same thing with example 3, write 5.555 in the place value chart and determine the place value and value of each digit. Okay, so now for example 2, write 4.1707 in the place value chart and determine the place value and value of each digit. So now we can see the place value chart. We have four ones and then the decimal point, okay, one tenths, okay, seven hundredths, zero thousandths, and seven ten thousandths. So we have here the place value and the value. So four ones written as four. 1 tenths written as 0 0.1, 7 hundredths written as 0 0.07, and 0 thousandths, so 0 0.000, and 7 ten thousandths, 0 0.0007. For example, 3, okay, 5.555 in the place of value chart, so 5 ones, and then the decimal point, 5 tenths, 5 hundredths, and 5 thousandths. So same thing with the place value. Okay, so 5 ones, okay, value is 5, 5 tenths, value is 0 0.5, 5 hundredths, value is 0 0.05, and 5 thousandths, the value is 0 0.005.
Okay, so for day 2, we have our subtopic 1. Place value and value of a digit in a decimal number up to 10,000. So try to answer the following activity. Recall the place value chart and then determine the place value and value of the underlying digit. So 6.987. So 8 here is 8 tenths. Okay, so and so on. 0 0.3, 4, and 5. So ones, tenths, hundreds. So five hundreds. Okay, two point four three six one. So four ones. Okay. I four tenths. Wala pa ones. No, it's four tenths. Okay. So one point nine six three two. So this is tenths, hundreds, thousands, and two ten thousands. All right, so four tenths. Okay, so again, that's the answer for the previous activity. So for the next activity, we have here write the correct answer on the line provided. Okay, so you're going to place the value of uh, each digit. No, yung digit na binanggit nila. Try to okay give the value. Okay, so we have here, of course, hindi ko na kayo pahirapan. Okay, so that will be uh, the answer. So number one, it's hundreds. Two is ten thousands. Three is tens. Four ones. And then five is thousands. Okay, for day three, we have our subtopic two, identifying the digit given its place value. So each digit in a number corresponds to a place value. Fill in the missing place values in the chart. Okay, so hundreds, we have tens and ones. Okay, we have the decimal points, tenths, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. So, give the digit corresponding to the indicated place value. So, from the given numbers, we given, okay, numbers, give uh, the values of the given place value. Okay, so for thousands, tens, ten, and ten thousands. And dalilang ng inyong topic for this week. Okay, so this time, identifying the digit again given its place value. So, given the decimal 38.0672, what is the digit in the hundreds place? In the thousands place. What is the value of the digit in the hundreds place? Okay, so same thing. Alright, so for the decimal 38.067, digit in hun the hundreds place is 6, thousands is 7, the value of the hundreds digit is 0 0.06, and the value of the thousands digit is 7 is 0 0.007 so break down after the decimal here for the tenths a uh, zero hundreds is six is six hundred seven thousands and two ten thousands okay so for this one okay answer what is the digit in the hundreds place ten thousands what is the value of the digit in hundreds place in the ten thousands so same thing Digit in the hundreds place is 9. Digit in the ten thousands place is 3. Value of the digit in the hundreds place is 900. And value of the digit in the ten thousands place, which is 3, is 0 0.0003. Okay, so another activity, write the correct answer on the line provided. Okay, so this time, identify which is in the thousands place. Okay, so thousands again. Number three is ones, number four is tens place, and the number five is hundreds place. All right. That would be the answer. And for day four, so we have subtopic three, reading and writing decimal number up to ten thousands. Okay, so this time let's study the illustration, then fill in the blank with the correct number. So this block is made up of one thousand units. Okay, this is unit. Okay, yung one block. One th uh, it is 0 0.001, one thousand of a block. Therefore, okay, yung apat is 0, 0, uh, 0 0.004 of a block. Okay, this time, if this blocks represent one whole, okay, this and then this block, okay, single block, okay, is equal to one tenth. This one is one hundred and one cube is 1000 so decimal numbers may be written in figures numerals or words to read a decimal number read the whole number 
part first and then read the decimal point as n. Finally, say the place value of the last digit. So, 0 and 0, 0, 1. Okay, so something like that. Okay, 45 and 0, 8, 2 is read as 45 and 82 thousands. Okay, so ganoon ang paglalagay. Okay, so this time, write the following numbers in figures. Okay, so 25 thousands. Okay, so 150 thousands and so on. 3 and 2 thousands, 5 and 82 thousands, 44 and 92 thousands. Okay, for letter C, okay, we also have here um, a millimeter is uh, 0 and 1 thousands of a meter. Show 1 millimeter or 0 and 1 thousands okay, of a meter using a meter stick and ruler. Okay. So can you think of objects measuring about 0 and 1 thousands meter? And how would you write it in words? Okay, so that's it. So we have here another example. Analytical balances can usually achieve an accuracy of 0 and. Okay, so what is the place value? 0 and. We have tens, hundreds, or tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands graph. Okay, analytical balances are designed for high precision and precision weighing and are used in scientific, educational, and industrial laboratories. Okay, so is 1 milligram heavier or lighter than. 0 and um, 1 10 thousands gram can you think of an object that can weigh about 1 milligram now how would you write 0 and 1 thousand grams okay in words okay so you can have that one okay so another work example so we have here okay a 1000 peso bill can be exchanged with 1001 peso coins is what is 1,000 of 1,000 pesos? How much is 75,000 of 1,000 pesos? And write the numbers in the place value chart and write in words. Okay, so that is the chart and then write in word form. Okay, so for day 5, okay, write the following words in figures and in numerals. Okay, so... For your, uh, okay, is everything clear now? So, for your learner's takeaways, explain how to read numbers with three decimal places. Explain how to read numbers with four decimal places. And for your, for your reflection and learning, give instances when these lessons can be of help to you. And for your assessment, we have here letter A. So, in zero and, okay. 358,000, which is the thousands digit, okay, which is the 10,000 digit. What is the value of the 10 of the thousands digit? What is the value of the 10 thousands digit? Okay, and then what, which has a bigger value, the thousands digit or 10 thousands digit? And write the word form okay, of 0 and, okay, 2 thousands. And then write 5 and 17 10 thousands in figure and in numeral. Okay, and we're done for the day and we're done for the week. So, thank you so much for being with me for our lesson for week 3 of your Mathematics 5 or quarter 2. So, thank you so much and this is Teacher Isa. So, if you have questions, you can just comment down below and we'll try to answer it. So, thank you so much and bye-bye.